31. Christ and Delano A variety of persons have been appearing before various groups in Southern California and no doubt elsewhere to, quote, give word concerning Christ and Delano. If we are to believe them, Christ is on the side of the marchers in Delano. These marchers are wrongly called strikers. These pickets are almost all anything but grip pickers. They're a variety of professional agitators, college students, members of CORE, SNCC, SCAL, the Berkeley Free Speech Movement, pro-communistic and communistic agitators, and some clergymen. These agitators despise and hate biblical Christianity. These marching clergymen do not believe that the Bible is God's infallible word. They do not believe that Jesus Christ is the second person of the Trinity or that his atoning sacrifice is our ground of salvation. It is ironic to have these deniers of Christ claim to speak in the name of Christ. But, in spite of these agitators and their unbelief, is it possible that there is justice in their cause? Are we, as one minister has said, in a period of transition to a different kind of social order? And is the picture of the rich, greedy farmer crowding the poor picker out of a living an honest one? Is it true? Much closer to the truth is the story of Naboth and Ahab, 1 Kings 21. The farmer Naboth had the power of the king Ahab and all the forces of the civil government working to confiscate his land. Today the farmers has the federal government and its subsidies to agitators, a vast array of powerful, quote-unquote, civil rights organisers and subversive forces working together to confiscate his self-government and ultimately his property. A man has a property right in his liberty as well as his land. Any infringement of man's God-given liberties as well as on his land is a violation of God's law. Thou shalt not steal. The only kind of social order which a man can live under in any age is a world under God's law. A change to anything else is a change to evil. Do the farmers represent an inhumane order? As one who grew up in the San Joaquin Valley, I know that almost all the farmers began as very poor men, many as immigrants who picked fruit, whole families worked in the canneries and sacrificed to buy their farms. The foundations of their present prosperity have been godliness and hard work. The new way to social progress which these unbelieving preachers proclaim is anything but hard work. It's the way of theft, and today stealing is made into a new gospel and a new way of life. Force is being used. Physical force, federal force, the force of organised labour to break the farmers. The atheists are parading in the name of Christ, and the thieves are shouting, Stop, thief! at the man they propose to rob. Christ at Delano? Not with these revolutionists and false preachers, certainly. Christ is present wherever his word is faithfully preached, and his justice and discipline duly administered. Men who won't accept Christ as their Lord will face him as their judge. These hypocrites at Delano are headed for judgment.